everyone for an arithmetic sequence with the first term 30 and the common difference is negative 4 we're going to find the sum of this arithmetic sequence so we're going to find the sum all right so basically uh, let's look and see what a sub n is that formula is your first term plus n minus 1 times c so this is going to be a sub n equals 30, because that's given, plus n minus 1 times negative 4. This is going to give you uh, negative 4n plus 34. All right, so let's consider when our a sub n is positive. So when a sub n is positive, then we get negative 4n plus 34 is positive. That means uh, 4n is less than 34, and that means n is less than 8.5. That means when a sub n is positive, uh, the sequence here, the first eight terms is positive, and um, the negative numbers start at term 9. So we're going to write the sum of um, the first eight terms, and then we're going to do the sum of the second terms. That would be 9 to, uh, let's see, how many do we have? Uh, 20, so that would be 12. And then we're going to add these two together. So for the first um, terms, let's look at this one real quick. Um, for uh, absolute value of a sub 9. So we'll start and see what our first term for that is. That's going to equal the absolute value, and I'm just using this formula, of negative 4 times 9 plus 34. And that equals absolute value of negative 2, which equals 2. So that's going to be the first term for that. Um, so it's an arithmetic sequence with the first term is 2 and your common difference is 4. It's negative 4 for the first one, but since it's negative, it's double negative. So basically, let's write out our sum. So for the first sum, we're going to use um, this formula here. We're going to have our total number of terms is 8. Your first term, um, and it's 2 times the first term is 30, plus 8 minus 1 times your common difference, which is negative 4. And this is all divided by 2. Then we're going to add this one, starting at 12. So that's going to be... Um, basically 20 minus uh, 8 and that gives you your 12 so we're just taking those next two terms and then for this it's 2 times your first term which is um, 2 plus 12 minus 1 that's your n times 4 all right and this is all divided by 2. All right, so basically when you simplify all of this, you're going to get um, 8 times 30 minus 14 plus 12 times 2 plus 22. And this all equals 416. So that's the sum of our sequence. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.